So this is an RST uh, guitar. This is their uh, multi-scale version. And I had to make this after the Valley came out in the vein of the Valley. It's the color scheme and it's even got the symbol and uh, they nailed the paint job, obviously. But uh, unfortunately, DiMarzio, which is my company, uh, okay. per pickups, they don't do multi-scale pickups. So the next best thing was Lundgren, which if you don't know, Lundgren are fantastic pickups. These are the Black Heavens in here. And they're uh, very, very, very organic and stringy. And just this guitar, like with the, the material that uh, RSTs makes them out of called Arium. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a composite, of their own proprietary composite. And it's made to mimic the coarseness of wood without the imperfections. So the resonance is just, it's just angelic. And it, it literally just is the most gorgeous sounding guitar. It's actually the best guitar to test test pickups in are this are the RSTs because you get the truest form of the pickup huh. almost you know it's like it's a the, it's just it's just a raw form of the tone and, and they said the, the notes sound like piano keys you know what I'm saying so well, I gotta ask because you know tone wood is such a debate and I know that you guys run high high gain you know like balls to the wall high gain you got Kempers we'll get to in a minute but is there a nuance that you feel or you can like see when you're recording stuff that is different than a, a traditional wood guitar. Yeah, I think you have to adjust a little bit for the difference in tone compared to wood. And anyone says that tone wood doesn't matter is crazy. I'm sorry, just, they don't know how to listen. Yeah. Um, when you play distorted guitar, you're compressing things, which means things get louder. Yeah. So if anything, the compressed the distorted guitar tone is going to bring out the tone of wood more, and if people can't hear that, it's just because they're not listening. Yeah. So, so. Or they don't know what they're listening exactly, to. Exactly, exactly. So, so, I, you know, I, I like to try to educate on that. And as opposed, everybody's allowed to have opinions about that, but I like to try to educate. And like, if, when you really sit and listen, you'll notice the differences. You just got to know what to listen for. But, uh, and then they, there's the topic of it doesn't matter. It's just, well, you know, when you're recording an album, these little nuances that stack up and stack up, that makes the album. You know what I'm saying? Now, Either, how do you have the relationship with the pickup and the tone wood or pickup and the REM here because you know obviously you're probably changing from what you know for the DiMarzios and how they react to your other guitars right how are, how are these working you know in terms of like what you need to get out of a pickup and and with this instrument being so unique so it's definitely a different beast with the Lundgrens uh I have to kind of for my patches on there I have to kind of adjust because uh, it's just it's just a different uh tonal quality for sure but the, the characteristic of the RTDs is still there, yeah. but the voicing of each of these picks up compared to the deactivators is definitely different. So I have to kind of work around it. Um, again, these are these are a little more organic, and you get a more you get more of the I don't know how to pronounce enunciate it or uh, describe it more than you get more of the string sound, a little bit more of the like string separation. Which those the Demarzes are per great for that. Yeah, this is just a little more so, and that sound either works or it doesn't sometimes. But when I was with ESP. I had two signature models with them, and the first one was uh, a lot different from this. It was it was not uh, the Eclipse style body, but uh, it was more like the Horizon or the yeah, M. Yes, yeah. correct. And it was a uh, neck through, and um, I think it was I think that was mahogany too with a maple top. But this one, when I got my this is my custom shop I got from them, and when I had to make it, I had to make it. You know, I wanted the thickness of a Les Paul. Yeah, which you we can were, see it is a chunk of mahogany. We took photos already of these yeah. instruments, and man, I was like, that is a thick Les Paul. Yes, <laughs> and so, um, we, you know, I had to make the thickness of that, and looking back on it, I, I kind of wish I would have done alder, just because for lower tuning, alder tends to be a little more uh, forgiving. Yeah. Mahogany has a lot of low end, and uh, again. For and you, darker. For Yes, yes. For you tone wood, tone wood monsters out there, uh, <laughs> it really does make a difference, because this is a set neck, mahogany set neck, and the pickups are sitting in mahogany and so the direct mounted yes that's correct okay. so and then the maple fretboard too which you know uh ebony or ebony has a lot of snap to it too but this has a little bit denser snap to it just i just wanted a little more a little more dense on the on the fretboard and you know it makes a little bit of a difference to how the strings just articulate but uh stainless steel frets too but um i had the activator uh from Dimar demarzio deactivators in this but the problem was there so much low end in that pickup anyway mm -hmm. this guitar had a ton of low end already so he, when you played it was just an ungodly amount of low end which is cool but you're getting in gabe's way at that point yeah exactly <laughs> yeah so uh so for this tour i was i tried out a few different pickups from demarzio 
and it just wasn't again they were all bridge pickups and it just wasn't fitting the bill i was still having the issue so what i did I had an idea i switched the bridge and the neck pickup of the deactivator set because the neck pickup is lower output it has and it's rated with lower low end and lower low mids but it has more top end which which the bridge pickup from uh, the deactivator has a ton of low end and has more output. Mm -hmm. But it, when I switched them out, it uh, the neck pickup in the bridge position just evened out the guitar perfectly. Huh. So it just it was just exactly what it needed. So here we are. And it's like in, in my way I, I, when I talk about guitar stuff with people and everyone has an opinion or it's there's no wrong answers and there's no right answers. It's right, just yeah. whatever works for no, each this, individual. This is what I mean. The only difference between the neck and a bridge pickup is just how they're voiced. It doesn't yeah. matter. There's no right or wrong way. So. Um, I think it was worth the experimentation. It definitely paid off because like this guitar for me is just sitting beautifully as far as tone goes.